Hi British Vogue, I'm Lawrence Cheney. My name is Tate from RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 2. Oh, I'm uh, British Vogue, it's Bimini Bamboo last year. It's me, Ellie Diamond from RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 2. Today I'm going to show you how I'm achieving my dream cover girl look. Oh my goodness, who me? <laughs> like this? Getting ready with you guys for British Vogue? Honey, let's go. Prepping and priming is very important, which is why I've done none of it. I've moisturised, I've toned, I've exfoliated, I've cleansed. You've got to get the canvas glowing. So I've already toned and put a bit of moisture lotion on. You've got to have good skincare before you put that good old foundation on. First thing I like to do is I just like to block my eyebrows. So we're just going to take a little... Yep, there we go. I'm just going to go in with a bit of my... It's a br vitamin C brightening cream by Illumia. I just like to pat that in. I just use a basic moisturiser from the pound shop and I'm ready to go. This one is from Beauty Bame uh, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that all over my face. Okay, so I always start, to be honest, with my brows. So let's just do that. Come on, we can. I do my eyebrows first because you can mess them up all you want just to get the initial shape and then use your foundation to cut round it. Just give the brows a little curl. Not that they need much to us because there's hardly any brow there but you know, we move. So I just like to put a mark at the front of my brow bone and then just out the outer edge of my eye and then however far I want my crease to go up is where I'm going to put that line as well. For my brows today, I'm taking the purple colour from my flash palette that is very destroyed, but uh, destroyed makeup palettes are a running theme with busy successful drag queens, so I'm very proud of that fact. <laughs> just mapping out a little shape, and then we can just build upon that really. I change my eyebrow shape from here, then never, just depending on what I'm doing. I'm wearing a bang, so I don't want to use my eyebrows too high so I'm just gonna do a uh, McDonald shaped eyebrows so just very like long at the front and then tail off nice and short at the end. For my eyebrow I'm gonna do super B-I-T-C-H brow really thin 90s meets the 20s meets absolute slapper very me. I'm gonna go in with these lovely lovely little like brow liners from Glossier and they're like in the black and the dark brown I'm just gonna start making some, just like, brow strokes. Right now, these brows aren't on fleek. They're on fleek, but trust the process. And then once I've got an outline of where the eyebrows are gonna be, I just take the product that I left on the back of my hand, and I'm just gonna fill in the eyebrows. Once they are all, you know, cut out with the concealer, I'm just gonna basically just blend that in with my finger. Now I've started cutting underneath, just for the highlight, um, and... Gosh, she looks like a right. Now, before we do anything else, I'm gonna set these slug eyebrows. I then will take my Snazaroo Clown White, which is a, it's like a white cream paint made for uh, clowns, so it works great on me. It does hurt sometimes. Oh, I forgot the contacts. Dust it off, just let the haters in your Twitter comments. Well, I'm gonna come back to the brows later on, but for now, we're good with that. Right, we're getting somewhere. They're all set, they're all set, they're all set. They're ready to rock. How crazy does this look? I've got this Glossé blush. It's very pigmented, so it really works well just to neutralize that area. I'm just going to start off my foundation process with my uh, Benefit Pore Primer. Just putting some foundation on my hand to warm it up so we can start concealing around these brows. I'm going to continue doing my eye now. So I'm going to go in with black. So I'm going to do make it really kind of sexy and dark and really classic, but like very 90s Kate Moss. I'm gonna blend this all together so it's not streaky. Okay, foundation's on. 
nice. So that's very dark now. I'm just gonna go in with my shadows and just make it all even and smooth and gorgeous. Okay, so the next step is I like to go in with my contour stick. This is a primer foundation stick and I use the shade Rich Espresso and I just do the normal areas that people would contour, the cheekbones, jawline, and around the forehead. And then I will go in later and contour my nose but I need to do my white creams first. So we're putting a foundation on first. I do my whole face in stages. So rather than doing a whole step at a time, then doing another step. I do the top half of my face, then work my way down. So I'm going to go ahead and powder contour around my forehead. I usually like to start dark with my contours first, and then I'll get all that on and then add my light parts. So I'm going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette. Now that's my five head concealed to a four head, I'm gonna take my white cream foundation stick from Krylon and I'm just going to start carving out the under brow. Now I'm gonna go in with my base underneath, foundation. And I'm gonna go in back in with that clown white, the same white we used before to conceal underneath the eyebrows. And I'm going to go in with my same brush I'm just going to do that on all the places that I would be highlighting my face usually. So I put contour on obviously like you know areas like my forehead, cheekbones and just like cut my jaw and make it more just kind of like bring my face in a little bit and I'm going to blend all that in. This part is very satisfying to watch as long as you don't mess it up. Because this is liquid I like to put it on with my fingers go over with a brush and then just buff it out with a beauty blender. So I like to go down my nose to create that nice little shape and then I'll highlight on my cheekbone, contour, blend it out. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the light concealer. A little trick I know is to do contour underneath here. The shapey look and it just gives it more of a fill of power. I just went ahead and set this eye uh, before doing this eye because I didn't want this to crease up and look even messier and make me look like a 50 year old man because I want to look like a 43 year old MILF. I'm going to go with the nose now. I've just got this kind of just lovely little brush I'm going to use just to go sloop. Down the middle of the nose. I don't like to go in with just just the one shade of it because I feel like it, it makes my nose too dark. So I take a little bit of the foundation, the Rich Espresso, and I blend it in with the white that I still have on the back of my hand, just to create sort of a ashy brown color. Now what I like to do down the nose is I just blend out with a brush the contour, but I leave the highlight. I always tend to build up my nose with quite a lot of foundation because your nose is often the part where the foundation transfers off it the most. So um, you got to pack that shit on. Now I've got that there, I'm now going to just make it real thin and give it a bit of a lift at the front with some contour. I sort of change in and out between contour and my nose if I like the, to have a, a nice blended line then a quite sharp line, but I just sort of make a bunch of lines on my face to try to make it look smaller. And that's what we're gonna do today. I like transforming my nose from a big old snout to a nice thin, sharp nose. I'm going in again with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Palette and I'm just going to use the darkest shades to snatch my nose. And then I just round off the tip because later on we put a cute little rhinestone on it just to catch the light. So that's one side complete and as you can see I've started feathering out that brown line here so that it's easier to blend out. So as you can see one side is on its way, this side. Kind of that. And then just with our middle finger, I just like to blend that out. And voila! There we go! Gorgeous! 
So powder wise, I kind of just mix and match. I'm just gonna go in KVD Beauty and I'm just gonna go in with the powder foundation in Rich Deep. I start with the most likely to crease parts. I'm gonna go in with some cream blusher. I'm just gonna do it here. I'm just really just buffing it all in. I'm doing the foundation on my neck now and what I'm doing is I'm taking my white cream foundation stick. I've already got some of my base colour. I'm just going to put a little bit of the white here. I like to have quite a light hand. I don't like to go in with a harsh or put any harsh colours on because we all want to build up the colours as we go and create a nice gradient from dark to medium to light to then white. You can use your fingers, there's no rules to say that you couldn't actually, your fingers are the best blender. So I'm just trying to blend that. All over, so you can't, you don't, can't really tell where my contour is, where my highlighter is. It all just blends into one gorgeous mess. And I'm just going to start baking under my eyes, my smile lines, forehead, under the cheekbone and the chin. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my neck. So no wrinkles or anything up here because I do have several chins uh, and I don't want those to look even more dramatic than they already are. Okay, so now the uh, powdered contours are done. We're going to go in with that same palette as before. I'm just going to take the two blush colours. I'm not going to pick up the pink, just the peach and the coral colour top of the excess. And I don't like to smudge this one. I just like to tap it because I don't want to put the color everywhere. I just want to put it where I want it. Okay. Now we are baking, baby. So whilst that's happening, I'm gonna start focusing on the rest of my skin. I'm taking this contour powder brush and I'm gonna take my NYX Professional Makeup Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, which is fabulous. I'm gonna take, I mean, I'm selling it short, taking all the shades right now, all of these, and I'm gonna start contouring and carving out my face. Like a pumpkin at Halloween. Can you see a difference in, this side has been powdered compared to this side. And I love that, oh. I'm just gonna dip into the lightest shade on this palette, the contour palette, and I'm just gonna contour my nose. Um, just to add a bit more colour there so it blends in with the rest of the face. Okay, so forehead, she's bronzed, she's dark, she's ready for action. Let's get these cheeks involved. Now the one last step before we move on to my eyes is blush. I'm taking my Revolution Blush Pro Palette and again I'm just mixing all of the non-metallics together. I'm gonna just, you know, subtly Okay, then I like to spritz the face. Take a little bit of the darker colour and put it right on the tip. Oh, alien vibes. Just blend that out. Blush is on, feeling strong. See, I've got a neck now. Gorgeous. Oh. There we are, my face is warmed up and I finally look like I've got life in me. We're gonna head on to the eyes. The key to any bold and fabulous drag makeup is some big bold eyeliner. I got this brush from Peaches and Cream Makeup. They do some really, really amazing little tiny blending brushes. I'm gonna go in with a Good Face Cosmetics lip liner and these are eye safe, so I'm gonna go in and map up my crease. Start making the smoky wing. I've traced out the rough outline of what I want my eye makeup to look like. So now I'm going to deepen everything and start blending everything out. If I just stay still, just look, just straight where I, where I want it to go, and just stamp it. For underneath the eyes, I'm gonna go in with a little KVD Blue Brow Pomade. Start creating kind of a wing and then smoke that out. 
I know this may look very crazy and over dramatic, but we're gonna blend it all out and it's gonna make sense. Hopefully. And we're just gonna take all those colors and blend it into the crease to make it fun, just like me. Now I'm gonna take a white and basically start um, highlighting my brow bone, you know. I know it's looking very grungy and smoky, but the next step is to cut my crease. And I am about to show you all, reveal to the world, my favourite makeup product. It is the MAC Liquid Dazzle Shadow. So it's like a liquid glitter. Take a little bit more of the purple shade and put that in the socket of the eye and blend out that liner line. You've kind of got the shape, you know. You've got the cage and now we need to put the bird in the cage. Bird being the pigment, honey. For my eyeliner, I like to go in and map out my eyeliner with a felt tip uh, liner from the KVD Cosmetics. To fill in my big bingo wings of eyeliner, I'm using the Kiko Daring Look Eye Marker, which is basically a big glorified Sharpie eye marker, only it is eye safe, I promise. Here we go. And bam, look at that, just a little, just a little pigment. Honey, it's taking it to a whole new level. Now for some mascara. I'm liking where it's going. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the vibe. And she's an alien bitch. The last part of this makeup is the lips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lip. I'm gonna go for a nice nude lip, I think, today. And I like to give my lips, make it look like, it's, it's called like the Marlon Monroe trick, I'm pretty sure, where it's smaller on the bottom and then a bit bigger and a bit more like lifted and pouty at the top. My lips could be bigger. So the fabulous thing about that is you can draw them as big as you want. What I've done is bring the top out and then I've not joined the line because it gives it more of a like gorgeous. Okay, so now that the liner is on, we're gonna go in with a nude lipstick. Lips, honey, lines. Right, there she is. Gorgeous nude, oh, oh. Where's well, my nude, not nude for everyone. Oh yeah, now we're cooking the glow fat oil. It's time for the gloss. So the next thing I like to do is I like to go in with some rhinestones just to put in my face to bring it a bit, give it a bit more detail. And just really make sure that the circumference of my lip is completely matte and nothing is gonna leak. I'm just using my MAC Crepe and Prime Fix Plus to set my face. So I'm gonna go in with my signature beauty mark here. Absolutely gorgeous, shines bright like the diamond I am. My lips are gorgeous. And then I'm just going to blow them into place with one of my fans. I'm going to jump off camera, slip into something a wee bit more glamorous than the Lawrence Cheney t shirt. Are we ready for a wig? Are we ready for a look? is my dream Vogue cover look. What do you think? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is the finished Ellie Diamond front cover of Vogue look. Ah, oh, and here we are guys, the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching me go from taste to taste. It's glossy, it's airbrushed, it's elegant, it's regal. I'm giving you what I think is 90s supermodel. <laughs> as much as I love these colours together, what with the pink, white and blue, it also represents the trans pride flag, which I'm very passionate about. Thank you so much for having me, British Vogue, and I'll see you on the cover next time. Bye. Love ya. Bye.